before we talk about like the huge moment between Omni Man and all the things and his fight, talk about that a little bit more. Do you guys have any like other thoughts about the Guardians of the Globe that we see in this episode? Because we see the team kind of celebrate Monster Girl's recovery, which I think is a really sweet moment for them. I'm like, oh, like they're finally kind of getting that team sensibility. Um, like <laughs> Rudy, or not Rudy, Rex um, empties a bunch of milk cartons and fills them with beer. Um, so I thought that was this really sweet moment um, to only kind of have them not do anything the rest of the episode. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I actually, the milk thing I wrote down as well on my notes because I thought that was really sweet, especially because Rex is usually just like this cocky asshole, like douchebag yeah. type character. And so to see that, like the people he cares about, he's willing to go the extra distance for, even if it's like somebody like wasting a bunch of milk and refilling it with beer, uh, like that takes time and that is sweet. And so it's nice to see that side of his character. Especially because mm. later is the big reveal that his freaking DNA was stolen. Um, mm. <laughs> and yeah, so I enjoyed that moment. I almost wish that there were more of it because I do like getting to know those characters and seeing other sides of them. Me too. Megan? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I noted that um, mm. I think in like episode four, three maybe of the season Cecil's like I'm leaving this blood stain on the wall as like this for you guys to not get cocky basically or like for you so once you prove yourself I can I'll clean it off um and and Rex says something like when when Cecil's like if if this all goes south you guys are the last hope against Omni Man and Rex is like to the blood stain on the wall, he's like, I'm pretty sure that's what happened to the last, last hope against Alien Man. And I just thought it was a good, like, it was just good writing to, like, kind of plant it in, like, episode three um, and then, like, bring it, bring just that, like, image back um, in this moment. Because obviously they would not stand a chance. Um against Omni Man. Even against just like Invincible, I don't know if they could if they could take him. Probably not. No, and I'm um, actually very surprised that Cecil didn't send them in for Omni Man, considering that he sent literally everything else <laughs> after Omni Man. He sent the freaking jets that are so much weaker than the the new Guardians of the Globe. And he was like, you guys yeah. stay like he had so little faith in them. Like, is that the reasoning? Like, he just didn't believe in them that much? Or was he just trying to save them? Like, what What do you think that decision was for? Um, well, in, in, I remember in season two, when, uh, when the Viltrumite Anissa comes down and, and is beating up on Mark, Ciso says something like, you know, it, sending anyone else is just going to be like sending them to their death mm -hmm. um and so i i imagine it's like a similar thing here like he knows like they can't actually do anything um so i don't know like if he sent them in like they would probably for sure get slaughtered and he's hoping like that he can resolve the omni man thing before they die as a last resort yeah um yeah uh, uh brie and i were talking in the, in the last episode um how like the immortal was just like buried in like a graveyard where anyone could just dig him up which is what happens um and we were like i feel like cecil would have some knowledge on like on just immortals biology or like abilities um and would like freeze him as they figure out how to resuscitate him um cecil cannot but yeah. trust it. <laughs> i wrote that down i have like an ongoing list of reasons why not to trust cecil <laughs> and immortal not being revived like he let the mauler twins revive them 
Yeah. If they could do it, Cecil could have done it. So why did Cecil want to keep Immortal dead? And then, though, when he died for a second time, they've decided to put him back together. And in my opinion, he was Immortal in far worse conditions, second death, than first death. And so that is kind of makes me a little bit curious. I can't, can't trust Cecil. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to note that we, um, Sam, Black Samson has his powers back mm-hmm. ap- ap- after absolutely getting rocked uh, by Battle Beast a couple episodes back. So that's good for him, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's one positive thing to come yeah. out of. Is yeah. He has powers back, but they don't explain why. And I don't think they talk about it at all later no. on. No. And no. I also think. I'm sure maybe we see him use his powers in another episode, but I, like, don't know what they are. Even in the second season, I don't remember, like, I don't remember him. No. Yeah. They just gave up. They're like, we should have never gave him his powers back. We don't, we're too lazy to animate him. <laughs> Spend our time elsewhere. <laughs> uh we and I talk about how there's just so many characters on the show and like sometimes they will oddly give like certain characters like a lot of screen time all of a sudden when like I'm not that attached to that like mm-hmm. like how you said like duplicate is just kind of a background character and I agree and like at least they give her like some like romance elements but like Black Samson or like Shrinking Ray, like they're in the show a lot, and yet they don't do a like, lot. Who is? Yeah, yeah. They're not <laughs> good. It's a it is a comic series, right? So we could all read the comics if we're dying to know what happens to these we characters. Could. We I- could, but that's what makes these like watching the new seasons fun. Is like we have no idea what's going to happen. Exactly. Plus reading, uh, what is that? <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about really quickly bringing it back to the robot and the Mahler twins. Um, mm. I thought it was so rude of robot to just like turn on the Mahler twins like that. I was like, what do you think you are, a hero? You just cloned someone. Yes, that is true. And also like he's supposed to be against the criminals so breaking out the criminals using them and then double agent like turn on them is interesting an interesting choice for him yeah don't trust robot either he's on my <laughs> list go cecil robot omni man at least <laughs> omni is like honest <laughs> but all of his all the all the cards are out you know yeah <laughs> Yeah, um, it was kind of like unchill of, of Robot to be like, okay, we're actually sending you guys back to prison. Yeah. I, I would have, if I was him, I would have been like, just this once, like, I'll let you guys go off and then gonna, tomorrow. Like, end up being caught again anyways, so like. Yeah. But I guess the Mahler twins are smart. I'm surprised they didn't see it coming. Like, they blindly trusted Robot. Because if they're smart yeah. enough to make clones of themselves and grow a body, they couldn't try to, like, see that the robot is a guardian of the globe and will put them back in jail. Like, that yeah. would have gone through my mind. Like, should we actually trust this guy? Also, what do you think they wanted to do with the immortal? They had a controlling the... The controlling collar. I I know at the end, or not at the end, but when they revive Immortal, they're like, okay, you're going to go kill Robot and the Guardians of the Globe. But I don't think that was their initial plan. So, no, I feel like there was probably a bigger, like, take over the world, but let's get rid of these guys first so it's easier. Yeah. I don't know. I like the Mahler twins. <laughs> I they're like too. silly, silly villains. Yeah, they're dumb and dumber. Yeah. <laughs> they just want to like be evil to be evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're simple. You know what you're getting with them. It's always gonna be the same shit, different day. <laughs>